My name is uh, Juan Yarena. Gretchen Blau. Um, Savannah Wilson. Kathy Lutz. My name is Jacob Chemsax. Kathy Kramer. Hi, I'm Kathy Fatika. Edith Ortiz. The library, to me, from the veteran point of view, is that it's a, it's a beacon of freedom and democracy, and it's available to everyone. The library, to me, is a continued investment in the community. It provides uh, opportunity, which I think is critical for the Erie region. It's built on uh, being accessible to the poorest person or the richest person. It didn't matter. It's an equalizer. And I would like to keep it that way. I'd like to keep it a, a public institution. Libraries are essential to make sure that we have communication and, and transfer of knowledge that doesn't require a degree at a fancy university. You can just show up and learn. When I first heard about the Project Neptune, I thought, oh, that's cool. And then when I heard when they, where they were locating it, I went, they are locating it. Where? It is so wrong. That's my library. It's your library. They took your space. They took my space um, for a, very, a pittance of rent. They knew. They knew it wasn't procedurally correct to put that lease in at the last minute at the Finance Committee. The funny thing is, Ellen Showerman, who was the chair at the time, she's always talking about process and how important it is. But when it came to that lease, out the window. Blasco, in particular, is a monument. Uh, the, the idea that there's unused space in Blasco is just completely inaccurate. The library means to me free resources and free access to things that we don't have in our public schools. We really need to add more educational free classes for kids, teenagers, and even especially adults. We need more financial literacy. The lake is great. We need that study, but at the same time, like if we have Gannon take over, people that go there on a daily basis to learn and educate themselves will no longer have that resource, and it's just not right. Um, I use the collaboratories a lot. Uh, I, I work in human services. I'm an advocate for families who have children with disabilities, and it's a very convenient location, and I'm not intruding in their homes by meeting with them there. And one of the advantages to that is I've um, shown the families that I work with the library and how to use it and how to and how to know where the programs are and bring their children for the children's library. So. There's been some times in my life where financially couldn't afford all the books I wanted to read, couldn't afford all the videos I wanted to watch, that type of thing, and the library allowed me to, you know, learn so much and, and do so much and advance so much in my life that, I, I mean, I owe it the world. I heard about the situation that was going on and I just couldn't uh, sit by. Uh, my mom asked me why I was involved when this isn't really my city. Well, it's my city now. It's my home now. And despite the fact that I'm Catholic, if I didn't fight against what was happening, I wouldn't be comfortable. I wouldn't, I couldn't just stand by and let this just happen. I can't even remember how I got, I got involved. I just jumped right in, I think. I guess I heard they were going to vote for the lease, and I turned up to that meeting. And, um, and I had to stand up and speak because the library is important to me. I could not stand up and speak, so I stood up and, and said, hey, this is our library. We need to keep it for the people. Having big, grand public spaces say something about who we are as a society, and for the, that library in particular says how we feel about the importance of libraries. You know, these are respectable people, and some of us troublemakers too. You know, this is all kinds of people saying, don't mess with our library. be aware because that's what we have found is so many people were unaware of what's going on in the library. And how did you find out? How many of you saw it in the newspaper? Put your hand up. How many of you saw it on the news? Okay, so how many of you heard about it from a friend? Wow. See? And that's what we want you guys to do 
after tonight, we want you to reach out to everyone you know and have them sign the petition. Hello.